Music is just like sugar, Mom. Too much of it makes you sick. Oh, not me, Pop. I love it. Well, when Buster plays, you would. Sure. Buster can play. He really can. I like it. And so does Lolly. Don't tell anyone I wrote it. If you say not to, I won't. But I want to. Thanks. It's your song. Mine? Nobody else's. Oh, I love it. be very happy, Sister Jenkins. I am happy. Buck can do the things I wanted to do, what his father wanted to do. He can play the piano, he can write music, he can read it. But could he make a living at it? And if he could, could he make a chair? Well, Reverend Juniper is hired as a trained to choir and pay for the singing at the church. Well, Reverend, Reverend Juniper can't pay him enough to take care of himself. And I'll never give my consent as long as he keeps foot in his hands. He's got to go to work and stop plunking my piano all day and half the night. Oh, shame on you. Buster doesn't twiddle his hands. He doesn't plunk. He plays. That's all right with me. I ain't kicking as long as he stops playing round Lolly. He ain't playing, Brother Simpson. He's serious. Too serious. And Lolly could do much worse. Yeah, she could do much better. Well, uh, letting a good boy like Honest slip through her fingers don't make sense. Buster is a good God-fearing, church-going boy. And if Lolly wants him, I'm not going to stand in her way. And you ain't neither. Well, why can't I get a job like Arnie? He works day in and day out. And drinks like a fish. And cusses like a sailor. Boss, here's your meal for the day. Well, thank you, thank you, Big. Let me see. Uh, what have you got here? Bills. Bills. 
bill. Low bills. This can't be no bill big as this. Uh oh. Oh, Lulu, by Unit Green. Doggone that cat still send them in. You know, someday he's gonna have something here, Pig. You think so, boss? Think so. Look what it says here. Talk about a jubilation. I just got some information and I am so happy I could fly. <laughs> boss, <laughs> you better fly over that piano and see how that thing gonna sound. Well, let's flew over there and tap it out. We may have something here that can send us right on off somewhere. Look at that. <laughs> Talk about a jubilation. I just got some information. And I am so happy I could fly. My best gal, that's so exquisite, will be here to pay a visit. And we're gonna marry by and by. Get that ring ready, son. Oh, oh, Lulu. My little darling Lulu, oh how I miss my Lulu, oh yes indeed I do. I'm almost cuckoo about my sweetie Lulu, and so my little Lulu is almost cuckoo too. Now when I'm acting funny, she says, stop it honey, that will cost you money, be careful what you do. Ow, ow, Lulu, my precious little Lulu. Oh, how I love my Lulu. Oh, yes, indeed I do. Now when I'm acting funny, she says, stop it, honey. That will cost you money. Be careful what you do. Ow, ow, Lulu, my precious little Lulu. Oh, how I love my Lulu. Oh, yes, indeed I do. I love my Lulu, indeed I do. <laughs> Can't change that when it's love, love, love. <laughs> I guess I better sign him up before somebody else grabs him. Man, uh, how about the Uncle Chin? Will she reverberate? Reverberate? Yes, sir. She pours like a Maltese kitten. She'll percolate, oscillate, and revaporate. Oh, God. Well, warm up. We're riding. Riding where, boss? Junction 88. Oh, Junction 88? Is that a place? Well, what do you think it is? Sound like a song title to me. Song title? Jumpin' G. Hosef hat. That's what it is. Yeah? Yeah, man, get the chariot ready uh, while I jump this jive down. Okay, here. boss. Junction 88. Well, I pack your old grip. Come take a trip to Junction 88. Oh boy, what joy at Junction 88. Clean as a whistle, good humor whistle. And there'll be great sights at Junction 88. There'll be a low. Come get a boat for Junction 88. 88, Junction, a Junction 88. Oh, ho, a Junction 88. Now, let me see if I can put a little boogie to this and get something out of it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's right there. 
Tear it up, tear it up. Uh, uh, well, Pig, what are you doing down under that car? Boss, I'm trying to fix this doggone crazy steering gear. It just won't percolate. Up on the hill? Yes, sir. Man, who informed you? Who, you? Yeah. You don't know nothing about fixing no car. Uh, don't care? I can sew, Kano. Yeah. I can cook, Kano. Yeah. I can sing, Kano. Yeah. I can press your clothes, Kano. Well, uh... Well, I can I can drive this buggy, Kano. Well, uh, yes, but, uh, you... Oh, and I can fix it, too. Oh, man, you ain't nowhere. You... Good afternoon, Sister Jenkins. How to do, Reverend? Have a seat. Reverend, I'm worried about Buster. Don't worry, Sister Jenkins. Buster's gonna do all right. I want him to be happy, but he's only happy with his music. Can't you pay him just a little bit more? Oh, I'd like to do that more than anything in the world, Sister Jenkins. But how can I? Our congregation is small and, worst of all, impoverished. Shamefully impoverished. That's right. Buster could go away, and he probably will. I'll miss him, but I wish he would. Only I'm afraid that he can't play well enough for that. For big cities? I suppose not. But Buster's going to do all right. God has given him a gift, and he's using it for the best of his understanding, for the glory of God. And when we use what God gives for his sake, we can't help but profit by it. Thank you, Ray. Take it from me, Mom. If I was him, I'd code like other boys and stop plunking songs nobody's ever heard. Oh, don't be such an old foggle, Pop. Let the young folks alone. Let them love. Let them dream. I don't want to be lonely. For when I'm lonely, I'm blue. I just want to be somewhere, somewhere happy with you. Got a sweet disposition. It's just as nice as can be. And my intuition says you're just the one for me. I like lots of loving. And you like loving too. When we get together, we should know how to fill and coo. I don't want to be alone. For when I'm alone, I'm blue. I just want to be somewhere, somewhere. Lolly, Mrs. Jenkins. So does Buster, Arnie. I want Lolly, Mrs. Jenkins. So does Buster, Arnie. All's fair in love and war, Mrs. Jenkins. I've been hearing that all my life, and still I don't believe it. I can't be happy without Lolly, Mrs. Jenkins. Well, the only way to be happy, Arnie, is to be fair with yourself, Lolly, and everybody else. If you don't build your life good and true, you won't find real happiness, no matter what else you do.
Oh, uh, excuse me, lady. It's not money I want. Well, if you're hungry, you come back by supper time, six o'clock. Oh, lady, I'm not hungry. I'm lost. Well, what you want me to do, find you? Oh, no, ma'am. You see, madam, I'm looking for Junction 88. That's what I'm looking for. Junction 88? Yes, ma'am. Well, this is it. Oh, right here? You're standing at the edge of Junction 88 right now. But if you want to get to the center, you just go straight ahead. Oh, I see. Well, all right. Well, is you sure this is Junction 88? Now, I was born here. Now, if you want to find out anything else, you go straight down to the barbershop. They'll tell you anything you want to know. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, how far is the barbershop? Oh, not far. About two hops and a jump. Uh, two hops and a jump. All right, thank you very much. How much further, Pete? Well, boss, this is it. What? We're right on the edge. Well, where is the center? Oh, uh, two hops and a jump. Oh. I didn't know you had company. Oh, Buster, don't be like that. It's just Arnie. Oh, I, I just dropped by. I'm leaving now. You don't have to hurry, Arnie. Buster ain't jealous. No. That ain't the way I heard it. Are you, Buster? Not right now. I ain't got time. I got great news. Guess who we're gonna have at our concert tonight? Who? Noble Sissel and some of his men. Noble Sissel? You don't mean THE Noble Sissel. How and why? They broke down. Got to wait 24 hours for parts for their bus. She ain't that luck. For us, I mean. Reverend Juniper ain't going to allow them to play in that recreation room. Oh, yes, he will. You bet he will. Too bad you don't go to church sometimes, Donnie. Don't fool yourself. I'll be there tonight. I'll be there from now on. Don't give me no G.I. cut. I had enough of them to last a lifetime. I ain't giving you nothing, Jimmy. And I hope it'll never be necessary for no barber to give you one, you or nobody else. Got a job yet, Jimmy? No, I ain't even got no clothes yet. But with the help of my rich uncle, I hope to go into business soon. Business? Yeah, a couple of trucks. Good for you. My two boys are going back to school. Good for them. I would, too, only I got three kids to support. Howdy, gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Take your step at home. Everybody lives in this town. Not, I don't know him. Any of you folks know Unit Green? Well, look here, this is Johnson 88. When you come here, that's where you are. Oh, he must live here. Uh, I have a letter from him. What kind of looking fella is he? I don't know, man. I ain't never seen him. Do you know him? By that name? No. I run the old apartment shop here or anywhere nearby. If I don't know him, he don't get a haircut. And everybody does. Hey, you know, that's mighty funny. Huh? Maybe, but uh, you can bet he don't live here. You can bet my clippers on that. Well, I, I heard him. He must be here somewhere. 
I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll stick around for a few days. Well, why can't we get a place to stay around here? Sure. Do you like the rest of it over on the corner? Maybe I can help you gentlemen find him. How can you, Chinky Pin? They don't know who he is. You don't know who he is. I don't know who he is. You don't know where to look when you know, know who to look for, do you? Well, thank you anyway. Uh, mind if I show you oh, gentlemen today? Don't, do, don't do that. I was just trying to help. Help? Help me kill myself? Well, come on. Maybe you can show us to the Eli anyway. Thank you. Kind of you, I'm sure. Hey, doggone, look at that chick. That's my girl, I hope. Well, knock me down, Jack. Knock me down. Hello, Lolly. Hello, honey. Now, Lolly, these gentlemen are looking for a man by the name of Eunuch Green. Do you know him? Eunuch Green? Never heard of him. Have you ever heard of Eunuch Green? I would have if he lived here. Well, I'll tell you what it's all about. You see, we're on our way to the Eli for supper. Will you join us? No, thank you. I'm going to church. Our choir is giving a concert. Tell the truth, Lolly. Our buster really show off. Buster never shows off. Oh, this is your big moment, I presume. <laughs> He's our choir leader. The dope. Uh, may we come to your concert? Of course. We'll be glad to have you. And by the way, I want to introduce uh, Caroline. Caroline? Caroline? <laughs> oh, go. Oh, go. That reminds me. I get a feeling most every evening that I can't understand until I stop talking and start to walking and then I another man when I'm walking with Caroline look at me look at me happy as we can be <laughs> everybody along the line they're jealous as they can be she's one gal that is super fine what a vision you'll see someday of me when i'm walking with caroline come on honey and she is walking with me <laughs> now when i'm walking with caroline how do the jones and she's walking with me Everybody I line the line They're just as jealous as they can be She's one gal that is super fine What a vision you'll see some baby When I'm walking with Caroline <laughs> And she's walking with me Come on, honey, let's go down Good evening, lady. Good evening, Reverend. It's a great idea, Reverend Juniper, allowing the young folks to arrange their own affairs. Well, if we are to look out for our congregations at tomorrow, Sister Simpson, we must look after our children today. That's right. Junction 88 is mighty proud of Buster, Sister Jackie. They should be. He's a born leader. At least I hope so. But to tell the truth, I don't know. It's just what I wanted, Reverend. A part-time job. I will be glad to accept it. You will have plenty of time to continue with your music. Thanks for speaking for me. Your mother's anxious about your future. Good evening, Reverend. Good evening, Lolly. I've just met the two most exciting men, and they're coming to our concert, too. Quite exciting. Buster, the Sissel Orchestra, and now two more strangers. What's happening to Junction 88? These men. What do they look like? Oh, important, big town folks. Did you invite them? No, sir. They asked to come themselves. Must be religious minded. Oh, I'm sure they are. I can't understand why they stopped here. They said they were looking for a fellow. What did they call him? Um, Unit Green. Who did you say? Unit Green. Do you know him? The name sounds familiar. Do you, Reverend Juniper? No, but if they stay around till next Sunday morning services, I'll announce it. I'm quite sure if Unit Green ever lived around here, someone will know him. Isn't that a bus, sir? He looks so... I was just wondering if the strangers would like our little shindig. Well, they should. We're good. I hope so. 
Hear that tune, Pink? Uh, what tune? Man's first in the barber shop and now here. Oh, Bob, he must live here. Uh, say, Pig, huh? how do the rules look? Okay, landlady too. Oh, boy. <laughs> hey, huh? keep your mind on your work, boy. We came here to find you in the green. Oh, that's right. Well, well I don't know anything about you. Reverend Juniper, I'd like you to meet Noble Sissel, the band leader. Glad to know you. Mr. I'm very pleased to meet you also, Reverend. He and some of his boys are stuck here. They've got to wait for parts for their buses broke down. And we'd like to have the boys play a few numbers. I think it'd be very nice, but... Well, it really will be a privilege and a pleasure to play for such a worthy cause, and you're really to be congratulated upon the wonderful work you're doing for the young people here. Thank you. I'm sorry my whole orchestra can't play, but after all, if the bus didn't break down, none of us would have been able to play, would we? <laughs> but let's make it a surprise. That's a good idea, Buster. I didn't think you'd come, Annie. Oh, hello, Mr. Uh, 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 Bob Howard. You just call me Bob. Plain Bob, Lolly. And? A uh, pygmy. Pygmy without the drift. Won't you come over and meet our pastor? Uh, why, yes. Where is it? Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Reverend Juniper, I'd like to introduce Mr. Howard and Mr. Pygmy. Welcome, gentlemen. Welcome to... Well, thank you, Rev. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Such a friendly place. Yes, sir, and it's just like home. That's just the way we strive to make it. And these are my parents, Mr. and Mrs. Simpson. It's a pleasure. I hope you enjoy yourselves while you're here. I'm very glad to meet you both. Proud to meet you both. Your daughter is the kind of girl to brag about. <laughs> she is that. She's delightful. She's lovely. She is scrumptious. <laughs> well, come along, gentlemen. I have someone else I'd like Well, to take us home. All right. These are the gentlemen I was telling you about, Buster. Oh, uh, uh, pleased to know you, uh, both of you. Buster's responsible for our concert. He's our teacher and our choir leader. And we, we just couldn't do without him. Well, uh, you should be a very proud young man, Buster. Yeah, you should be plenty proud and happy. Oh, uh, uh, thank you, sir. Uh, both of you. Show them to a seat, love. It's about time we got started. Uh, pardon me, Buster, but I don't know how to say it. Uh, I don't know whether I should say it, but my friend and I would like to help entertain your folks. Ain't that right, Pig? Oh, right. Right as any food on anybody's table. <laughs> uh, I have a number I wrote. Maybe the band would play it for us. Of course, we'd be glad. Very glad. Good deal. Oh, I don't know. Gather here tonight for a little innocent entertainment and joyful companionship, one with the other. And we beseech you there, Father, to bless these young people who have prepared this entertainment for us. And may your love abide with them always. Amen. Amen. As usual, Buster will be our master of ceremony. Oh. Thank you, Reverend. And I know we younger folks will try to live so as to deserve the blessing that he has asked to be bestowed on us tonight. How about it, folks? Yeah. And now I have a surprise for you. Due to an accident, for which I am very grateful, we have with us Noble Sissel. <laughs> Start us off as usual in one verse of my country chisel.
how his voice will sound when it changes. But it's okay now, eh, folks? <laughs> and now, here they are. Not on a picture, not on a record, but in person. Noble sister. All right, fellas, let's play that number that Bob wrote. Wanna have fun? Come on along to Junction 88. Pack your old grip. Come along to Junction 88. Oh, boy, what joy at Junction 88. Clean as a whistle, good humor bristle. And there will be great sights at Junction 88. There'll be a load. Go along to Junction 88. 88, Junction consistent it's as plain as ABC that I know all the ups and downs listen at me pig now yeah right through to XYZ 
I read Latin, Greek, and Danish. I speak Russian, Dutch, and Spanish. And I've traveled every place that there is to go. Even been to Rome and San Juan Center. I visit Europe every winter. Please tell me one thing that I always wanted to know. What's that, Pig? Where does the wind go? I don't know. When the wind don't blow. Well, since you ask me, let me ask you. Where does the wind go? That's what I want to know. Now, it don't go west where well, I've been there, and it don't go east, but it goes somewhere. Pig, listen. When it blows, it goes. That's what I know. But where does the wind I didn't know you could sing, Pig. When, when the wind don't blow. <laughs> Doggone it, we ain't gonna do it. <laughs> Pig, I didn't know you could sing. No? Oh, man, as long as you feel like uh, doing a little singing, get out there and give, old oh, man, give. Let him get to the piano. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. something, Buster? I don't, I don't know what to say. Ain't you happy? I don't know. Not yet, I don't. Didn't you like the concert? Yes. There's something wrong. What is it? I can't tell you, Lowry. Not yet, I can't. That was a nice affair. Last night, Reverend. I enjoyed it myself, Brother Charlie. Them fellas that was looking for Unit Green, did they find it? Not yet, but they probably will have services in the morning.
Well, there's something sliming about them if you ask me. But they are such nice men. But it is funny, looking for somebody nobody ever knew. Have you seen Unit Green? Lord, it must, Arnie, where did you come from? Nowhere. Well, then, you slimy sneak go on right back there. I never saw things so high. You go out with a basket full of money, and you come back with a handful of food. You know, you see uh, Buster? Oh, no. But his mother tells me he's got a part-time job in a crate factory. Yeah, he ought to have a full-time job on the levee, a fertilizer plant or somewhere. Oh, don't be so foolish. Would make him too tired for his music. Where's Lolly? I don't know. Uh, looking for Unit Green, I reckon. Unit Green. If I hear that name again, I'll scream. Dear Lord, bless us and all mankind with thoughts of love with one for another. Brother Bob, will you explain to the congregation? Uh, yes, Rev, I'd be glad to. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, for over a month or so, I've been receiving at my office in the city copies of songs, excellent songs, written by some fellow here in Junction 88, by the name of Unit Green. Unit Green? Yeah, 
Well, uh, I, I'm anxious. I'm very anxious to find this fellow because I think he has excellent possibilities. I uh, want to find him and sign him up to a long-term contract. Thank you, Rev. I don't know who this person is, but whoever he is, he should be very proud. And we should be very proud to have such a promising young man among us. Reverend Juniper. Yes, Buster. Please, sir. I'm sorry to have caused so much trouble. Trouble? What are you talking about, Buster? Nothing. Only... I'm Unit Green. You? Buster? Unit Green? Yes, sir. I wrote those songs. Well, a prophet is without honor only among his own. Well, there it is. Best contract any new writer ever received. No trick clauses and everything plain. It is that. Plain enough for trick depends on the stand. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sign right here on the dotted line. And don't sign it, Unit Green. Oh, this would be a very happy day for you, Sister Jenkins. For me too, Mother. Yes, I believe I could cry. Oh. oh, don't, Sister Jenkins. Pray. Pray that Buster will, through the help of the Lord, fulfill his promise. Amen. What's your answer, Lolly? Lolly. I don't want to be lonely. When I'm lonely, I'm blue. I just want to be somewhere. Happy for you.